Hello and welcome to UK Theme Park. Today we're going to be reviewing the plans for SW7 and then looking at how the construction's going. The black hole attraction will be closed down on site and the new ride will be the most expensive ride ever installed. Barrington Towers costing 20 million, topping 50 million spent on 13. It will be constructed by Gerstschlaf, who also constructed Thorpe Park's Saw the Ride. It will also be constructed in the X sector futuristically themed area of the park. It will cover 1.5 acres of land, which is actually fairly small for a major coast with all the remaining the existing rides remaining in place. Regarding noise assessment, they use saw the rides as an example, saying that the coast will be the same type and manufacturer, with the near confirmation that it will be a Euro fighter model, again like saw the ride. It will use a steel track and a fairly compact model featuring the Euro coaster trains as most Euro coasters are fairly compact. Maximum height 22.15 meters, 73 feet, but it may go underground with around eight inversions, two lift hills, one of which is vertical. Possibly even including a launch section, possibly a vertical launch. More about that in a minute. Inversions are appearing to include a cobra roll and a sea serpent roll. Sorry about the images, they've got lost in editing, but oh well, moving on. The world's first element. It's hard to tell from the plans, but there's been specification that speculation over a vertical launch, but with curves around the vertical section, this may be impractical and fairly impossible. There's an indoor area for the ride, 872 square meters. Could feature some additional indoor elements, elements, not elements. Sorry, the theming looks as if it will be similar to the other theming in the X sect area. You've got the shutters, the metal panels, fireglass panels, the large stenciled lettering, a bit like Nemesis Subterra. There'll be a major theming element in the heart of it, 15 by 15 by 15. That has been revealed now. It's a massive alien type structure. I'll, I'll give you a picture of that in a minute. There are three main theming features though apart from that the ride station is also likely to include some theming elements the station is 11.3 meters tall the opening date is set to be in march 2013 the, uh, the start of the 2013 season possibly the 23rd of march hopefully we'll be there to catch all of the action with construction likely to begin around halfway through 2012 well guess what it started early construction's already gone up started we'll go on to that in a minute with a shop, um, a shop as well for the ride, and a photo booth, of course. Here will be the park after, before, and there's the park after with the new addition. Does really add to the park. Here's a quick picture of the massive theming element. Now we'll move on to construction. Construction has now begun, starting off with taking down the black hole tent where most of the attraction will uh, be based. It's a very compact circuit, eight inversions at least, and two lift hills, possibly the world's first vertical launch, as there will be a world's first element as well. The SW7 website has now been launched, and the billboards have been put up and labelled, saying, Coming soon, SW7altontowns.com slash 2013, and workers are already in sight, and construction has begun. Very exciting on the new coast, it's going to be partially like saw with uh, some sea serpent rolls, barrel rolls, a uh, very compact circuit, looks like a great coaster and actually maybe a decent length of a ride. Uh, the Swarm was fairly disappointing in its length, it's a fairly short ride but hopefully SW7 will be a little bit longer. It's probably going to be based around some kind of alien invasion, possibly a modern technological alien invasion looking at the website and billboards as the theming element suggests an alien invasion type theme. Anyway, we'll be aiming to be some of the first to get all of you the updates on the new coaster at Alter Towers. And next year we'll be going to see the new coaster hopefully on or around the opening day. So subscribe for many updates on this coaster and be first to get the latest news on it. 